Hello everybody, Wild Trekker here and welcome, welcome, welcome to another episode on our Let's Play series in Minecraft 1.9 or at least in the snapshots 15W35E. That's right, E, which basically means there's lots of bugs in this particular one. If you get up to something like E uh, during the week, then yeah, there's lots of bugs. Uh, and that's really what this snapshot's been about mostly is bug fixing. Um, yeah, so uh, there's nothing really too major. Uh, I think they tweaked a few things, but um, there's a few combat things uh, and that kind of stuff. But we are back from the end. Let me show you what we got. So uh, I got ourselves a load of purpler blocks, but we are going to go and grow ourselves some um, some coarse flowers. So let's just take those out now, actually, and we'll take some uh, end stone. Um, yeah, so we've got some steps there. We've got some of the pillars, slabs. Um, so that's all the new blocks. We've got the chorus fruit as well. Um, so let's just take some of those and we'll show you what we can do with those. Got some of the magenta glass and some of the end stone as well. This is going to be really nice for building in. I think that's quite a nice building block. Uh, makes a difference to sandstone as well. So uh, and I like the color combinations. This is really going to be nice. Um, with this I think the white of that is going to look really good against that so uh, yeah that's all the blocks and this is all the goodies um, so yeah we've got quite a lot this is quite good really although the, it's not high-end stuff um, Death Strider 2 is good and Breaking 3 is good uh, Fire Protection 4 that's okay but what it's really good at is repairing so we'll be able to use that um, to repair our existing stuff or we can combine things together so that's pretty good and then we just got some basic uh, iron stuff as well um, we did get a couple of potions we got three new diamonds so we're going to get some emeralds and gold and I am going to put those in another chest. Got a couple of banners. We did end up with a free ender chest, normal chest, loads of end rods as well. So they're really cool for lighting. Uh, and have some fun things to do with those, I think. Uh, a free brewing stand and a hopper. And we did end up with this as well. Uh, where there was a beacon previously, there is now this um, and this book. And this book is entitled Work in Progress. And yeah we'll have something else here soon so <laughs> that's uh, yeah i'd like to beacon please i suppose i could load up the earlier snapshot but that, that's not really right is it they never intended the beacons to be there sadly so uh yeah that's no good right let's just get rid of these in here put those in there some diamonds we're getting a bit low on our diamonds 15 and 4 was it four or five four yeah so we're gonna have to do something about that now let's uh, just for a random area let's just get some of these things down and growing um, I think that'll be a good thing to, to start going I've been doing a little bit of experimenting with these in um, creative just to see what they do and how they behave now if we stick them like that they will just grow any way they want okay so they'll just randomly grow um, in lots of different directions if we do this however if we actually position something um, like so I'm not saying this is necessarily the best way to do it because you're not going to get uh, repeat flowers out of it um, but for setting up a farm there see that so that's grown straight up it will not grow to the left or right or anything like that um, and likewise now it's only going to go straight up because it will not grow um, with anything next to it so um, you could make this really high if you wanted to um, and you could make uh, a fairly good farm where it kind of stops at the top we can walk along clip the flower go back down the bottom clip the tree and then plant it again so that's probably the farm I'm going to go with because to be perfectly honest if we're going to go um, and sort of do all this uh, random stuff um, they are going to sort of go a bit haywire and I'll just show you this I'll, I'll put one down there and we'll let that one grow um, and we'll see what it looks like that one's growing straight up so uh, it's not too bad but it could start sprouting off going in different directions this one is more likely to so um so yeah some interesting stuff i did try pushing these flowers off uh, there doesn't seem in the game at the moment any way let's just go and see there doesn't seem any way in the game at the moment to actually 
um, automatically harvest the flowers. I did try it uh, with them growing up straight and then trying to use a piston and a slime block and things like that to knock it off. Um, but no, not yet. That could change, of course. The mechanics of this, this is a snapshot. Um, so I would like to see that we could knock these off with say a slime block so we could do as we've done before where you have a piston loads of slime blocks going in a row and they just when they get to a certain or you know on a timer and it just literally fires out and chops the top off and gets the flowers um, you see that one the flower is ready to harvest you see how the flower has changed on that so that's a, a flower like that but that one's there so that means that one's not going to grow anymore so we can get the flower and get that so um, yeah so let's just uh, put that there where we have a little bit more room. So some do grow higher than others, some grow faster than others. It's all to do with tick speed and, and what have you, but they're also quite random as well. As you can see, that one just grew again in the middle there. So um, yeah, pretty cool. So we're going to do that. Um, you may notice these pillars around here. We're going to do some building today. Now we're back here. Uh, I want to start shaping this base out. And I think the, the final sort of idea I've come up with um, is we're going to turn this whole area here into um, a town. Uh, I'm not going to say a fortress, but it is going to be built a little bit like a fortress. So I've just been playing around. Uh, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to build up some walls. And these walls are going to follow around to there. And then over here, we're going to have ourselves a, a sort of tower, lookout tower. Because from over here, we can actually see lots of... Um, he says jumping around um, yeah so we've got good views from here all around so I thought this would be quite a nice sort of uh, lookout tower from up here which would be pretty cool um, and I thought what we do is we would would use our villages to be all around this place so when we create certain villages for certain trading they're going to be in their own little uh, place so uh, I thought we'd do that so this entrance down here is going to become the main entrance for heading out that way if we want to which is obviously going to be on the horse because we're probably not going to walk out and I've started making some paths here so I thought I'd use a new path feature and I think that looks pretty good it's quite a nice easy way of making paths and um, we've got a couple more there to knock um, yeah so it sort of makes a nice nice path and actually what it means is as we go um, along we can we can uh, you know mark paths as well rather than just placing torches and leaving breadcrumbs that way um, it's quite why quite a good way of making a path so this makes this path all the way down here um, and then this is where we were when we we're coming across here before we we're kind of heading that direction you see the torch there so um, yeah and that heads out to the mesa biome so I figured that would be a good sort of place the thing I've noticed because these are lower down what I've got to do is finish this up can you see there there's uh, that underneath still so we can leave that in place it is possible to actually break that there you go and place a new one in between just got to be a bit careful um, yeah so I just need to place those I notice the more going up these steps over here because they kind of look a little bit odd so you can see it there it just stands out really really a lot and they're opposite and that's where I first started noticing it just doesn't look quite right so I think it's going to be worth spending a little bit of time just you know knocking these out and then um, just putting the dirt in because uh, yeah it'll look better I only haven't got any dirt so we'll have to do that so that's something I'm going to go and do in between episodes but um, yeah I think that's looking good starting to come along we probably do need to come up with some kind of lighting though as well to light it and then this way is going to go off in that direction which we haven't really explored much I've done a bit of exploring but uh, not massively and I think what I'm going to do one of the things I want to do today is build a stables because we've got a horse over there but it's no good having it over there when this is going to be the exit out of here and um, we're going to have to build a gateway there as well but for now what I want to do is build the stables here so what we're going to do is come through this gate and we're going to have some kind of automatic doors here open and closing or ones that we push by button and then we're going to go into here to put our horses in so uh, yeah I think that's what we're going to work on today as well as perhaps getting that wall around and also do a little bit of exploring so um, let me get some blocks do a little bit of digging and we'll get this uh, get this one started so something I was going to do before we get started was just um, 
see how well these uh, chorus fruits uh, cook up. Um, and that's the other thing as well. Can we eat raw chorus fruit? Is it raw that we can eat? Mm. Yep. <laughs> and there we go. And we've teleported. So uh, these chorus fruits, yeah, will randomly teleport you to places you weren't expecting to, which could be a fun game mechanic. It's uh, a bit entertaining. Back over there again. So I don't know where the... Oh, we've gone completely the other side of this building now. So, uh, yeah, it uh, makes it interesting. I say, I don't know whether there's an actual... No, it does, it's not even if you're looking in a direction or anything like that, is it? It's just randomly teleporting you. So but that's pretty cool. Um, so you can do that. You can eat them and teleport... Where are we? Oh, right at the top. Wow, I don't think I've been up on this one. There we are. But it can be a quick way down, presuming it takes you to the right place. Let's see. Can we get down there? Eh, not quite. Uh, yeah, a little bit random. So it would be quite cool if we could, um, if we could sort of uh, use that mechanic somehow. But at the moment, I think it's just completely random. However, it's a good way of escaping your enemies if you're caught in a corner. Eat that, and you could go off... Uh, end up anywhere really couldn't you um, now let's have a look at these we should have some so we've got nine in there and what they should now do is four of them craft up into a block well that's quite good um, four for four so um, that's a fairly good trade actually so it means every single one of these although you've got to do it in fours will turn into a, a purple block so uh, pretty good um, definitely want to get a a farm uh, up and running big time um, for those and I guess we're going to need a, a row of those in there as well so uh, yeah I think I might just go and plant a few of these and then we'll get a farm going uh, a very rustic one at the moment and then we'll work out a, a more permanent place for the farms later on who look there you go so there's your random uh, oh hello piggy what are you doing here hey what are you doing Okay, not quite one hit on that. I needed more sharpness. But um, yeah, so that one there you can see is ready for harvesting. Um, get to the top, get to the bottom. And that's something we could do is probably work out where we can hit these from the bottom. Um, and then as long as we can go up and then hit at the bottom, that will be all right. Because I don't think we can harvest these, can we? No, we can. It just gives us the same back sort of thing. Okay, that's not too bad. So we don't have to wait for it to go up. Um, but that was quick. Um, yeah, I'm guessing we can let these grow up uh, quite a lot. Can we reach that one, for example? Yeah, so we can. So that's what? One, two, three, four, five, six blocks up. So, um, yeah, if we put a stopper, and you can see it's still growing. If we put a stopper um, so they couldn't grow any higher than that, we could then uh, quite easily so that's that's where it was so if we actually had something going over the top we could probably stop that from uh, growing any higher and it means we can harvest it otherwise we're going to get on blocks um, the alternate alternate would be having this somewhere like here we can get a bit higher um, and then even when we've done that we can still get the bottom one and we'll be able to plant again which might be a better way of doing it um, yeah and then we just got to have our way of collecting it all, I guess, as well, because obviously if we do that and do that, all the bits are going to be down here for planting. So, uh, OK, I'm sure I'll work it out, um, try and work out a good scenario. But let's just get the rest of these planted for now. Oh, no, my poor horsey. What has happened to him? I'm thinking he's possibly gone into a wall, given the position of those things over there. Oh, poor horsey. Oh, well, we never did name him, did we? Um, right, in which case, we definitely need to do some exploring because we need to go and get another horse now. But we've still got to build the stables ready in time for them. Well, I started working on this entrance now, and I kind of came up with this path. I like the way that these new blocks actually work against the new path. I think that works really well together. So I'm going to carry that through. Um, certainly there's a theme going through here and then we've got our stables so um, what do you think uh, I'm going to 
duplicate these on the other side so we've got uh, just a bit of decoration there and the way I've done these is I've used the steps down here I like the the way that the sort of the, the steps give that gutter effect which I think is really good and we've got some hidden lighting which is basically uh, redstone lamps and then I put all these across the top here just to give that sort of uh, familiar feel and then again use a new block in the back wall there which I think actually looks pretty good so um, yeah we've got two stables there at the moment even though we've got no horses and at some point we will probably work out a way to redstone some gates here um, I did want to put this new path underneath but as soon as you put those down it, it takes this away and turns it into dirt again so uh, but yeah it's illuminated quite well and, and again we've got some hidden lighting underneath there so I think that all works out we just need to work out a, a gate at this end and uh, work a way of uh, redstone in it as well and we got some pillars there to get rid of we got any stones of us we have let's just do those quickly um, just little details like that annoy me if we don't get them right so uh, yeah I want to make sure we get them there we go uh, cool and then this entrance we've got to work on we've got to work on this entrance probably bring it around to that wall fix that wall up a little bit and um, yeah should look pretty good um, yeah I'm liking it this is the bit I don't like uh, so what I think I'm going to do is take away that bit there so it's then more level Look, you haven't even got your bow up you can see me go on raise your bow thank you there we go um, I hate shooting unarmed people so uh, yeah I think I'll just take this bit of wall down and we'll bring it so we can actually see the end of both of these uh, both of these uh, uh, stables and we've got a slanted roof on there from the outside but on the inside it's just a smooth roof so uh, yeah now I'm liking it as you can see we've got this map fully mapped out now uh, what I found interesting as well is if you look down here this is where our base is and this is where I've made that path um, using the new sort of um, path style of the grass blocks if you like so uh, yeah it shows up on the map really well so that's a path which is about three wide I did sort of try out in the middle of nowhere here doing some that were too wide and they're a little bit more bitty but they are starting to show up so um, yeah that's pretty cool so uh, we've got the rest of it mapped out anyway and and this is an area I had been in before as you know so uh, it's mostly swamp all the way around here swamp all the way around here and the rest of this is extreme hills and birchwood forest so um, nothing really interesting over there but um, yeah that's really our closest swamp so what we'll probably do is we've got a path going from there we'll probably end up bringing a path down through here uh, and then into the swamp over here somewhere so we'll probably make a path we can go out and ride on our horses talking of horses look at that grow it's still growing um, and that's why we need to make our farm not quite so difficult to farm so uh, we'll be working on that next time I think but here we go we've got this wall down uh, we've made a, a better entrance of it here and as you can see I've got a new horse yes we've got a new horse goes in here fine um, I can get on okay um, and that's absolutely fine so riding is no problem when I get off I do butt my head but um, not really a problem to be perfectly honest so if we close one of those and jump yeah so you just bash your head a little bit as you jump off but our horse is nice and safe and we've kind of mirrored it around this side as well so we could go and get some more um, because there's lots of horses over there this isn't particularly the fastest it's okay jumper but yeah we, we could do with sort of spending some time and getting some more of those and then this is all sort of finished here ready to um, to do and as you can probably see yeah I've just been farming some wood because we ran out of it okay so what I think I'm gonna do is go and get my bricks and start just laying out this wall here and see what we come up with so what I'm wanting to do is just randomly he says carefully choosing um, but yeah just randomly sort of put in some um, you know blocks which are, are more the cracked stone bricks um, kind of gives that decaying effect rather than it looking too smart you want to look like it's uh, lived in a little bit so it's these little details which I think will make it uh, look good or not look good so to speak yeah so I think that adds to it makes it blend in a little bit more so um, 
but that will certainly stop any mobs coming up there. This side will, well, I don't know, yeah, we probably are okay. Just little things like that will probably have to come out and put in bricks instead. So again, we'll do the same around this side as well. Um, but I think that's probably going to do for today on this wall. I need to kind of work on some of the area behind it, really, because that's going to matter as well. And I'll show you that now, what we've been doing. Let's just do that. Okay, so uh, these steps will probably take away um, just so I can get the wall completely built. And instead, what we'll probably do, because this is ground level, we'll probably just make a, an entrance going through the rock and in theory it should come out the other side down here somewhere so um, that's something I'm going to do bring it out that side there and then uh, if you see here I've taken down this sort of ground level here taken away some of the uh, torches as well and we'll probably take it down at least one more level um, because yeah it's not not very uh, doesn't sort of fit quite right on this side. I want it looking a little bit better on this side. So we're probably going to take this down a, a few levels. Um, this is the level that kind of ties in with here. So what it might be is you come here and then you go down a level into this sort of um, area really. Because uh, I want to make use of what's under here. So we'll probably go down at least a couple more levels. And that will probably be more in keeping yeah, with this. So it's probably more bringing it down to this kind of level and this we might have to relocate it's a perfect position for when I sleep and I can see this lovely little sort of window through there so maybe we'll put a house here that's going to be our house um, and it's going to look around this whole area here hello Mr Creeper are you going to go through the portal that's probably not a good thing because you'll be waiting for me the other side won't you Let's see if we can one shot you without pushing you through we could um yeah so uh oops um i think that's probably going to do it for today guys we've uh, had a little bit of a building episode and we've probably got a few more of those coming up so uh, if you've got some ideas for this place i've got a few uh mulling around but i'll probably just level this ground out in the meantime um and just get this finished and this by the way is going to be a walkway through and we're going to use inside of these uh these rocks and inside of those rocks and that sort of thing start building some houses for the villagers um yeah so it's this is going to be one of our sort of ways through if you like around the around tops of the walls and we've got that area to build and i think next time we really need to start um looking at these and looking at the best way because to be perfectly honest having to uh, shimmy all the way up here especially when you're hungry um, even with blocks it's not really the best thing to do is it because it's quite a way to go up so we'll probably work on making ourselves a chorus plant farm get one of those as well is that them all I think so so uh, let's go down boom Bam. I do love that feature um, yeah so we might work on um, getting this sorted out as well so uh, brilliant okay well thanks for joining me guys hopefully you've enjoyed it uh, leave me a like if you have and join me here next time on our single player world in minecraft my name is wild tracker bye bye for now bye bye